A Pug Named Pickles There once was a pug named Pickles, who when he licked your nose it would tickle. He would walk all around to meet all the people from town, hoping to get a handful of kibble. Now Pickles was a curious sort, and he could get into tight places because he was short. He had a zest for adventure, no matter the weather. He even had his own pug passport. So one curious day, I believe it was in May, Pickles the pug set out for a walk. The sun was shining bright, birds were singing with all their might, as Pickles pranced about on the sidewalk. Pickles then heard a sound and started to look left, right, up and down, but couldn't figure out where the sound was coming. Then all of a sudden a bird flew down, coughing and wheezing, such a frightful sound, as he stumbled and landed with his nose all runny. Mr. Birdie, are you okay? Pickles asked. You don't look so well today. The bird looked up and introduced himself. Hello, Pug. My name is Billy. Well, my name is Pickles, and you seem rather ill. Is there something I can do to help stop your chill? Well, that's mighty kind of you, Pickles, Billy said. But it's more complicated than you know. I've never been sick before. Not in 15 springs, summers, falls, or winter snows. There's so many smokestacks spraying smoky stuff in the air, it's getting harder for us birds to breathe, and I have to rest more often than I choose to care. And so you see, Pickles, that is why I am ill. That is why I have a cough, a runny nose, and a chill. There's something wrong with the air, something creating this despair. I wish the big birds at the top would stop and one day learn to care and realize that oxygen should be the only element we breathe from up there. Well, that makes me angry and that makes me sad, Pickles said. Billy, you hang in there, you get some rest and be a good lad. I've got an idea, just give me a few days. I will stop whomever's been naughty in making the air so grave. Thank you, Billy said. It would mean a lot to all of us birds, so we can one day fly free again across this awesome earth. One day we'll be healthy and free. I can't wait. I love this clean air. I don't want the black lung, Pop. That rocks. Fly free. Fly free. And so Pickles carried on with his day, thinking about how to help Billy and all the birds in different ways. Pickles then stopped at a park where he could think. He began to lie down when all of a sudden hundreds of ants yelled, Don't lie here, Mr. Pug. This is our ant mound. Pickles quickly jumped up and looked down at the ants, and quickly apologized for making them all dance. The leader of the ants said, No worries, mate. It all worked out. Thank goodness for my brothers and sisters all yelling, because we shock and shout. My name is Arnie of the Ants, and what do you call yourself, Master Pug? I'm just a pug named Pickles. Short, strong, and stout, Pickles replied. Pickles asked, I've never seen you here before. Did you just move in? Arnie replied. Yes, Pickles, we moved in yesterday from the last place we had been. We hope this hill works out and we can stay here a while. You see, we ants are pretty tired from moving from pile to pile. Well, why all the moving? Pickles asked with concern. Arnie replied. There's been so many chemicals dumped it makes our little ant eyes burn. And then some of my cousins were born with five eyes, some with twelve legs, and some without smiles. So we had to get away to build a new life, away from the big ants who spray us. How do they sleep at night? Well, that makes me angry, and that makes me sad, Pickle said. Arnie, you hang in there, you get some rest, and be a good lad. I've got an idea, just give me a few days. I will stop whomever's been naughty in making the ground so bad. Thank you, Arnie said. It would mean a lot to us ants, for one day we'll be healthy, and all ants deserve that chance. Pickles rose up from the grass with even more resolve, knowing helping the birds and ants would be a bit tricky to solve. But there's one thing you should know about when dealing with a pug. You see, when a pug sets their mind to something, they will not stop. One day our eyes won't burn anymore. I can't wait! Yippee! Super! I'm in! Me too! So Pickles carried on ending up in a field near a barn. And as he explored further in, he realized he was on a farm. You see, Pickles had been walking a while and was getting rather hungry. 
and what perfect timing it was being surrounded in a field of corn and broccoli. Pickles figured he could take a break and have a little something to eat, but as Pickles opened up his mouth, a voice cried out, Mr. Pug, don't eat that leaf! Surprised by the voice that was trying to warn, Pickles turned around to see it was a little cob of corn. Pickles said, Ma, you have a loud voice for being so little, the corn yelled back. You better believe I do, being stuck here in the middle. Trapped between bigger husks than me, it sure gets tough and hard to breathe. If I didn't learn to speak up and speak up real loud, then everything I'd say would get completely drowned out. We hope you've enjoyed the first five minutes of A Pug Named Pickles, also known as Pickles the Pug. If you'd like to hear how this exciting 25-minute story ends and if Pickles can save the planet and help his friends, then kindly send $20 through paypal.com to the following email address, nomadyoga at yahoo.com. A download link will be sent to you within one to two days of your purchase, so please be patient. You will receive the full video book story with and without the narrative to play on your computer or handheld device. A PDF version that you can read at your computer with your parents and friends, a copy of the new 13 hand song and Pickles storyboard music video written especially for this book, One Heart at a Time, and some other fun surprises. We are also doing a community based crowdfunding campaign, so if you'd like to invest more than $20 for the Pickles video ebook package, then your support is appreciated as it will support the various marketing costs and spreading the word and sharing this important message. Just send that through PayPal also to nomadyoga at yahoo.com. Thank you for your time, thank you for the support, and thank you for caring about our planet.